How's it going guys? Neo Gino here and I got back from Too Many Games Swap Meet over the weekend and it was a very good time. It was their first one that they did. Uh, very good show. Um, and this is where I brought back. Now to start this off, I'm going to actually show you a couple things that I picked up before the show. Um, I had I just have so much stuff that I've I've been picking up lately, especially recently with buying a, a collection I just bought and a ton of other stuff I just bought. Uh, so I'm going to add a couple things in right here, some good stuff. Uh, I actually picked these up recently. Uh, these are all boxes I needed, and they're all Turbo Graphics boxes. Uh, I've been going after these complete now, so trying to complete that collection as well. Another one. Try to not get the glare on here. Uh, Dragon Spirit, this game's great. Very good game. Uh, Blazing Lasers, this game's awesome. And uh, picked up all these boxes. These boxes are all super nice. Um, Battle Royale, shitty game. But if you want the whole set, need that one. Utopia, it's basically a Zelda clone. Awesome. Definitely one of the higher end games. Uh, Legendary Axe 2, another one of the higher end games. Very good hack and slash. Uh, China Warrior, pretty shitty game in my opinion, but some people love it. Uh, me, not really. And uh, two games I got recently in the store in this area um, were definitely two games that are harder to find for the Turbo Graphics. One is Parasol Stars. Uh, working designs title uh, definitely not common to see uh, no box for it, but cue card still pretty nice and One of the very hard to find good shooters in the system Superstar soldier uh, I guess No box for this one either, but definitely a hard game to find as well uh, Awesome game very good shooter um, Another thing I found in this area recently was this game the Crow. Uh, if this game was even half as good, oh, fuck half. If it was a tenth as good as the movie was, it'd be way better. But the game probably is shit. I know the one on PlayStation is shit, so I wouldn't imagine that to be any better. Uh, I also picked up Legend of Ligaya. Um, PlayStation game, uh, sought after. They got a good deal on it, so why not? Uh, also, I, like I said, I picked up a collection. I picked up, uh, I never had many PSP games. I have a system, and uh, I had like two or three games, nothing big. But in the collection that I picked up, I picked up and added about 150 some PSP games in my collection. And uh, it's funny, before that, at the show last weekend, uh, I was talking to my buddy Mike, and he was looking for a game for PSP. He's a PSP collector. And uh, he said he was looking for Mock. Um, supposedly it's a, a game that's hard for him to find, because like, he wants to find it just like me. And, uh, the game store I have in my area had two of them. So I picked one up for him, and I'm like, yeah, I might as well get one for myself. And then I bought that collection, and I added more games in my collection. And, uh, here's two of the, uh, better games that I got. Uh, the Power Stone Collection, which everyone knows Power Stone is pretty cool. And I got the Castlevania Dracula X. I had a loose um, disc of that, but now I have it complete, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm also starting to go after Vita. I picked up a whole collection of Vita, and I've been going after that recently too, so that's being added to my junk. But here we go on to what I got at Too Many Games Swap Meet. Uh, I got this, just a box, but it's a. Once I find the cart and the rest, it's be well worth it. And that's a box for Congo Capers. And the box is pretty nice. Uh, didn't pay much, barely anything on this, but that's pretty neat. A game I don't have, so that's cool. I'm, I'm fine getting a box first over all that stuff. Uh, another game I picked up, I picked up Complete because I only needed the box and manual out of it and you want to split it apart. So I bought it, he gave me a great deal on it. And it's Super Mint, and that is Trog. And the box is like basically a at like a nine really good like I said he wouldn't split it apart so I just bought the whole thing I think I paid like 25 bucks for it so 
and we'll have the cart for sale. Another game I picked up, Avi is actually off a buddy of mine, the vendor next to me. Uh, he picked it up and then he flipped it to me for a stupid low price, and that is Futurama, a pretty hard to find PlayStation game. Um, super mint, super nice. Uh, I'm actually going to play this one. I want to see how good it is. Uh, I like the TV show. The TV show is funny as hell. So I'll definitely be checking that out. Um, another thing I got there was um, a guy that I, I bought a lot of boxes off of at Too Many Games. This is like the, the bigger of the stuff that I got. And um, I did a really good deal with him. Uh, had to talk him down a little bit, but... I got all three of these games. Shining Force 3, Sega Saturn, complete. Um, Sega Ages, a working designs, rare working designs game. Um, always with that high end. That's how they operate, all their flash. Uh, and I got Dragon Force, another uh, wisdom working designs game, flashy. That's what they they like to do, but uh, I want to thank him for the deal on them. Uh, awesome, awesome. And, um, and one of the last things that I got there, uh, I, I picked up a, like I traded for like stuff you know that I already had. Like I had I had a guy that came in and traded me all the Mega Bands for NES, all six of them, two of them with box, but I already have that stuff in my personal collection. So not really showing that off. But if you're looking for any of them, I have them. A guy came up to me and he wanted to know if I buy games, and um, of course I do, but he's like, it's a PlayStation 4 game. I'm like, eh, at that point I'm really not interested, I, ha I don't play them that much anymore. And he pulled this out, he goes, it's a limited run thing, and I go, oh geez, here we go. And there's only one thing I want from limited run, and I'm not going to pay for it. So, and he pulls this out, and it's the Battle Draga special edition and it's still sealed and literally there's only one reason that I want this now the only reason I want this is literally for the record inside of it and uh, I mean I already own the game I own the real game so like don't need this when I own the real thing right here but to spend 200 250 for this well they're asking on eBay just for the record and 100 for the record I wasn't gonna do that so I own this, I'm probably going to open it because I want the record outside of it. And I was looking at it and I noticed that, you know, limited run numbers are collector's editions. And I was, and uh, I noticed, I don't know if you can see this on here, but this is number uh, three, which is pretty crazy that I have number three of it. So probably gonna open it though, but maybe not, who knows. I was looking online, and obviously they do number all their collector's editions that I saw, because I saw all different numbers, but that's number three. So maybe that's worth, like, another nickel. I don't know. But, uh, like I said, I own the real copy, and that's good enough for me. Um, and, yeah, that's all I got back from the show. Um, the show was really great. I'm looking forward to do it again. Uh, definitely do it again. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was a great time. Um. One day, or, uh, one day shows are usually there, eh, but it was really good. Good turnout, uh, a lot of people there. Some people were pretty good with their trades. Some people were f way the fuck out of like left field. A uh, guy trying to trade NBA jams for high end stuff, just not not gonna happen, bud. Like no, unless it's some NBA jam game I don't have, but doubt it. But uh, yeah, that's what I brought back and. Uh, you know, it wasn't a big haul, but it was definitely good nonetheless. And uh, a little bonus thing here. Uh, I picked this up today, literally today. And uh, I'm probably, you know, I don't even give a fuck. This is a sealed, sealed Lords of Thunder. For Turbo CD US. Hang tabs still on the back. There, this is sealed. And uh, behind me, I have my Turbo Duo waiting 
play a game. And uh, I want I want I I wanted to play this game for Sega CD. I haven't found it yet. At least not for the price I'm willing to pay. I know it's expensive on Sega CD. This is also expensive as well, and this is sealed. And uh, since this is in my personal collection, I really don't give a fuck what people think about values and stuff like that. Because uh, I'm going to open this game right now. All you weird people that care about stuff like that. Oh, look at this. Oh no, there goes peace. Killing the value. Oh. And yes, I did. I, I paid quite a bit for it, not gonna lie, and don't care, because I like to play my games. And this is how you get a super minty fresh. Almost want to lick this. This is the sweet do. Just lick every part of it. Super minty fresh. Oh, the dust doesn't even want to come out. Look at that. Doesn't get cleaner than that. And, uh, yeah. I just opened up uh, Lords of Thunder for Turbo CD. PC Engine. And I'm going to plop her in and let's fucking go, bud. Press run. Just a moment. She's in. And, uh,. Looks like I'm gonna sit here and play some games on my turbo. So uh, yeah, that's what I got. That's what I picked up. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple more videos in the next couple weeks here. Uh, I picked up a lot of stuff. Like I said, I bought a collection, and uh, there's just a ton, ton, ton of shit that I got. And um, well, let's see if I can focus in on that a little bit better. Like I said, ton of stuff that I picked up, and there's a lot to show you. And uh, I mean, I have a ton of stuff that I picked up even before all that. And, uh, there's no sound to this? Where's my sound at? Oh, I hope if I turned it up, wouldn't it? There we go. Now we got sound. But, uh, yeah. Like I was saying, I picked up a lot of stuff. And, uh, definitely dying to check this out. See how it is. And, um, yeah. I'll be posting up a lot of stuff shortly here. So, I'm going to enjoy this game, and I'll see you guys on the next side.